Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The most recent report from the European Parliament Intergroup on Freedom of Religion states that much of the world's population is deprived of their right to freedom of religion or belief. Can the Minister please tell the House what steps her department are undertaking to ensure the protection of minority groups in Nigeria, reportedly in the absence of a Nigerian government unwilling to initiate forceful action? Well, the Honourable Lady is absolutely right to raise the fact that, in fact, three quarters of the world's population live in countries with high government restrictions of freedom of religion and belief. Actually, Nigeria, in their constitution, does guarantee this freedom. And I know that my right honourable friend, the Prime Minister, when she met President Buhari recently, was able to raise this important issue. And I'm glad that she shares um, uh, the, the ability to raise that in Parliament. I feel that I need to prompt the Minister. Um, Mr Speaker, Nigeria is one of DFID's top five recipient countries, and Nigeria has been identified by both the European Parliament Group on Freedom of Religion and the US Commission on International Religious Freedom as a country of concern with regards to their poor record on upholding the right of freedom to express religion. So can I ask the Minister, again, please to tell the House what actions her department has in place to ensure the Nigerian government upholds the rights of religious minorities in the country. 